One of the aspects of the situation that we find ourselves in now is that very often every day is like the previous one. Every day is like the next one. There's a lot of monotony. It's very difficult to keep track of the different days that we're going through. And even though this is particularly true at the moment, sometimes it can be true of life in general. Where do the days go? All of a sudden they become weeks, they become months, years, even decades. And that's why one chapter in this week's parasha, chapter 23 of the book of Vayikra, is so very important for our time. Because that is a chapter, one of the chapters of the Torah, where it talks about the different holidays, the different holidays of the Jewish year. And it also talks about Shabbat. And what we need these Yom Tovs for, and what we need Shabbat for, is to have days in which we do something different. Not just that we do something different, but we connect to certain truths about life. Sometimes we need a particular time to remind us and help us to live out certain truths. And if you don't have those special days, you lose track of the meaning. Life doesn't become a, a meaningful story anymore. It just becomes a list of monotonous days. And that's why, as the Torah tells us in this week's Parsha, we're going to have in a few weeks' time the holiday of Shavuot. The holiday of Shavuot when we remember that Hashem gave us the Torah, that there are certain things that Hashem wants us to do in our lives. And it's why, as, we, as it's also mentioned in this week's parasha, we have Shabbat every single week. This last Shabbat, we were privileged to have a wonderful Shabbaton as a community together online before and after Shabbos. But also many people followed the booklet, which we produced to follow on Shabbos, because Shabbos is a time which is different to the rest of the days of the week. We don't have to be glued to our screens like we are the rest of the week, watching things, doing emails, answering phone calls. It's a different kind of a space. It's a space when we say we're not going to concentrate on these gadgets anymore and we're going to encounter a holiness, a sanctity of the day. Later on in Jewish history, more dates, special dates were added to the calendar. Next week we have the date of Lag Ba'omer. Right? I'm looking at my calendar. Lag Ba'omer is on the 12th next Tuesday. So that is a day which really celebrates the fact that after the terrible plague of that time, when 24,000 of Rabbi Akiva's students died, Rabbi Akiva was left with a handful of students. And from that handful, he built something incredible. He built a whole load of new Torah students and Tremendous amounts of Torah were passed on to his handful of students who then passed it on to theirs and had a major impact on what Judaism is until this very day. And I think that the idea which comes from Lagba Omer is that there can be tremendous tragedies and sadness, but out of those difficult times, you can build something really great. And that's the day on Tuesday. That's the lesson that we remember through Lagba Omer on Tuesday. And we'll have the opportunity, please God, to send some videos or articles about that next week. Um, and of course, the following week, we'll also celebrate Yom Yerushalayim because we have to remember that we are living here in the 21st century in uh, just a few decades after some incredible things happened uh, in the history of our people. And we remember that we conquered Yerushalayim and that the Jewish people now have the freedom to go to the Kotel, to go to the place where the temple stood. And that's also something which we connect to. We remember we're not just Jews in Montreal, but we have that deep, profound connection to the land of Israel as well. So the idea which it is encapsulated in that chapter in this week's parasha is that you need to have certain times when you concentrate on something different. You can't just live the same day again and again and again. Do something different on Shabbat. Do something different on Shavuot. Do something different on Lag Omer, on Yom Yerushalayim. Take advantage of all the tremendous rituals, mitzvot in our tradition. If it's not uh, a Shabbat or a Yom Tov, it's something like Lag Omer or Yom Yerushalayim. You can watch things online to do with these particular holidays. Remember that there is a tremendous amount that we can learn and we can do even during this period of quarantine. Ways in which we can grow as people. Things which we can learn. New experiences that we can have. And that is is the powerful message to us at these times from this week's parsha. Wishing you all Shabbat Shalom.